So we've got a good uh, handle of how to translate binary numbers into decimal numbers and back and forth. Uh, so I think we have an idea that we can use them for regular mathematics. Uh, there is a special kind of mathematics of binary uh, numbers that we call a uh, Boolean algebra after George Boole, and this is a different way of interacting with uh, binary values. Uh, this is an algebra, which is a system of variables and operations that we can do onto those variables. And I think we're familiar with uh, decimal algebra and traditional algebra, and so we can start from traditional algebra, and then we can talk about the differences between traditional algebra and Boolean algebra. So traditional algebra, we have uh, variables x and y, for example, and we have things we can do to those variables. We have operations like addition and multiplication. Um, and we find also that these things sometimes will come in uh, pairs or partnerships, which we'll talk about a little bit later on. Uh, we have things like inverting, uh, we have things like uh, division and multiplication, we have addition and subtraction, we have other things we can do. Um, we have orders of operations where we put things in parentheses so that we can do them first before we do other things. Uh, these are all the sort of characteristics and features of a traditional algebra. Now in Boolean algebra, uh, all of these things are still true, but there are some differences because we only have two possible values. Uh, so again, we have variables like, for example, x and y. Uh, we have operations, but the operations are a little bit different. Um, so instead of plus, which is adding two numbers together, which we still can do with uh, numbers that represent value, uh, but with Boolean values, with, with um, binary values, this is not plus anymore. Uh, we call this um, or. Uh, this is a symbol that we use. It's a bit confusing because it's the same symbol that we use for addition, uh, but there are other symbols that we can use as well. Uh, or can also be that. Uh, or can be, there's a few other things that we can do. Or can also be a big line like that, and we'll see how some of these work as well. Uh, but mostly we're going to use that as our symbol for or. Uh, the other operation that we often will use is a symbol, uh, is an operation called AND, <clears throat> uh, which we can use a multiplication symbol for. Again, that's confusing because we look at that and we think multiplication. Uh, but we can use this symbol or we can use this symbol. Uh, there's other things that we can do to make it clear that we're using AND and OR instead of PLUS and MULTIPLY. Uh, and then there's a third one that we're going to use uh, that is an inversion symbol, uh, which we'll use this for. Uh, we call this not. Uh, we can also use a bar above, or we can use a slash. There's a few other different symbols that we can use to indicate these different things. Now, these are the operations that exist in Boolean logic. Why are they different from operations in binary, in regular logic? Why are they uh, special? Why do we have these words instead of other words? Uh, well, the best way to me to figure that out is to start to use some of these and see what they do, especially considering that these variables now, instead of taking any value, they can only other be 0 or 1. These are the only possible values that these variables can take. And this is the main constraint, uh, which makes things a little bit difficult, a little bit different when we're dealing with Boolean logic versus dealing with uh, traditional logic or algebra. So if we have a variable, um, call it A, and if it equals either 0 or 1, and we have another variable called b, it equals either 0 or 1. There are only four ways that we can combine these two together. Uh, a can be 0 and b can be 0. A can be 0 and b can be 1. A can be 1 and b can be 0. Or a can be 1 and b could be 1. So in a traditional algebra, there's infinite different possibilities for values of variables. In binary algebra, because there's only two possibilities for values of variables, that means that the more uh, variables that we have, we can be very specific about how many possibilities there are in this entire system. Often we'll write this as a table. We'll say, here's a value for A, here's a value for B, and then we can talk about what that result might look like when we do something to those two variables. Uh, and the way that we write these tables typically is like this. This is a way to enumerate every possibility for these two values, for these two combinations of values. A lot of this comes from um, some of the earlier research and um, writings about logic and truth. And when you have two sentences that have truth value, 
um, what are the possible ways to combine those two sentences. So if you've done logic before and you're thinking about truth values and trues and falses, this is precisely the same logic and the result is exactly the same. Because we're doing this in the context of computing hardware, we're going to use zeros and ones, but it all comes from that same idea of truth values and logic. So let's say, for example, we want to combine these two using uh, and, A and B. Well, A and B is going to be true when both are true, and only when both are true. And so that happens here, and that's the only place that happens. Here, A and B are both zero, so the output is zero. Here, A is zero and B is one. That means that this output together is not true. It is not happening, because the only way this thing is going to be one is if both of these things are one together. Feels like kind of a definition for what and actually means. So A and B looks like this. And this is our way of arranging uh, the result of some operation, in this case and, on some values. Uh, so this is just an example, and in the next few videos we'll detail the different kinds of operations that there are and what some of those things might look like.